Simon YouTube and welcome back to the MLPB. This week we are taking on Glix and the New Zealand Dodrio. So if you guys are hyped and ready for this, make sure to hit that like button because it is greatly appreciated. So, again, at this point, I have not seen the battle against Flygon and the Chicago Chandeliers. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone up at the time of me recording this, so I do not know if we are 2-2 two two or 1-3. Either way, our score is not very strong, and we need to pull off some amazing points here. Steam Siege did a fantastic job for us once before already, so I'm praying that Steam Siege can come through again. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this. I'm going to pull this right here. You guys can hear me rip it open. And uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. I've been very much enjoying this series. Um, wins or losses, it doesn't matter. I'm getting to collaborate with some of the greatest people in the planet. If you guys haven't checked out half the YouTubers that are involved in the MLPV, I highly recommend you do so, because they are all fantastic people. And you are definitely, 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 definitely missing out. So we've got our three packs there now on the table. Can we get... Sleep Realm up. Yes, there we go. Alright. Don't care about the coin. Not at the moment, anyway. I'll pick that up later. So, we have the Azelf promo. Uh, 70 HP, Psychic type Pokemon, basic. Has Shining Eyes, 1 Psychic Energy, put 2 damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. And then you have Mind Bend for 1 Psychic, 2 Colorless, we get to do 30 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Not the most competitive, but it is definitely a pretty card. So, as stated, we have three packs. Oops, and I actually forgot my competitive pick. Um, just let me double check something real quick. And we are at New Zealand, so we are gonna go with one pack. What is in this set? This is a little awkward, I admit. Where's my Nidoran? Where's my Nidoran buddy? He's actually still over here on the desk from the previous battle. So we are going to claim Nidoran as our competitive pick. I apologize for that poor, poor sportsmanship of quality there. But we are going to use the Nidoran. I forgot all about competitive picks at this point. But he got us a point in the in the match against uh, Curious Klappa, so maybe he can come back and get us a point here against Glix. So here we are. We have two Xerneas and a Yvatol. Ooh, the X and Y love is coming our way. Uh, we'll mix this up and go one Xerneas, one Yvatol, and then one more Xerneas. So, can we get some luck in these packs? I'm sure hoping we can at least get on the board. We've had our zero. If you guys haven't watched already, we've already had our zero in the tournament, so please, no more. No more. I don't want any more of that. So we're going to start ourselves off with a Mantine, a Meowth, a Larvesta, Ah, uh, before I continue, I do apologize. I didn't go over the point system. I know probably everybody knows it, but I should go over it just to be fair. If I pull a Nidoran, it's one point. If I pull a Hollow Rare, sorry, if I pull a Reverse Rare, it's one point. Hollow Rare is two points. Break or EX is three points. Full Art is four points. And a Secret Rare is five points. Now that we're on to the point structure, now everybody's up to date, let's continue with the Fletchling. The Oshawott, the Ambipom, the Halucha, we have an Anorith, we have a Reverse Hoppip, so no points on the Reverse, and we have a regular rare Talonflame, which is a fantastic card, but unfortunately no points in this tournament. Now, that is not a good thing to see. Can Yvetal, the spawn of death himself, give us some hope and dreams in this tournament? That's kind of like an oxymoron there. Alright, so we'll put the code card aside. One, two, three, one, two. We have ourselves a Drifblim, a Meryl, Shellos, Mantine, Clink, Anorith, Nidorino. So close, but not a Nidoran. Steelix Spirit Link, 
We have a high dragon break, which is going to net us three points. Fantastic pull. Very happy about that. And we have a Gastrodon, which gets us nothing. So the high dragon break can get sleeved up. Look at that beautiful card. We can put him over there. Over there. We have three points on the board. We're at least not skunked. Now, Xerneas. You need to pull through. Three points in these is not very good. I'll be honest with you, if we can pull off a win against Glix with just three points, I'd be shocked. But here we go, especially when he's got two competitive picks. Whereas we've only got the one. We need to pull something incredible here. Can we get it? There goes the code card. We have one, two, three. One, two. We start ourselves off with a Hoppip. We have a Dano. A Litleo, Nose Pass, C Dot, No Nidorans, they didn't show up! Clang, Special Charge, Monferno. We have a reverse captivating Pokepuff. I'm feeling a dud pack here. And Ooh, never mind, we did get a Yvitol rever or sorry, Yvitol Hollow, so that will be two points in addition. So not actually the worst score we could have had. That is that is a reasonable score. Uh, so we have a Hollow in the Yveltal, good old Oblivion Dark uh, Darkness Blade card, and we have the Hydragon Break, which gives us a total of five points. I'd say that Steam Siege did us pretty good this season. Steam Siege did very well. Uh, we got a fantastic store in the first week. Store, score. And we had a fantastic pull this time. So, very impressed with Steam Siege. Can we make it though? Will we be able to take on Glicks? You guys will have to check out his side of the video to find out. So the link to his battle will be in the description below. Highly recommend checking it out to figure out who actually won this battle. And if you haven't already, go make sure to subscribe to him because he is a pretty amazing person. But, uh, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Time. Out.